Yo, once again, it's on. Back at you one more again, Real Kings TV in the house like kitchen sinks. Hopefully you like the video. Feel free to comment. Definitely subscribe to the Chiz channel if you're not already subscribed. You know what I mean? And hit that post notification. So anytime I bring you this heat, this action, guess what? You're amongst the first to receive it. Now, with no further ado, let me get into this morning's video. Young Blue and Lil Boosie situation is getting real, real ugly. You know, for the longest, Lil Boosie's been going online, you know what I mean? Instagram, talking about Lil Blue owes him all this bread. Empire Records, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, they owe all this money or whatever. Supposedly, supposedly, allegedly, you know what I mean? Lil Boosie's signature had been forged. Now, Young Blue, from what I understand, ain't really been saying anything. It's like he's just been, you know, kind of ignoring it. Well, earlier this evening, um, Young Blue posted a million dollars. Million dollars cash. You know what I mean? And understandably, <laughs> Lil Boosie feels some type of way about that. Hey, bro, you posting all this money? Is that a shot at me? You know what I'm saying? You posting this money knowing that you all owe me this bread. This is Lil Boosie's thinking. You know, just giving my opinion, rather. You know you owe... So, so now you just playing me like I'm a simp. You don't just post this money knowing that you owe me. And I just think that the situation is getting really, really, really messy. I don't think that it'll spill over into the streets too much. You know, because Lil, Bo Lil Boosie's brother's over there. You know what I mean? And he spoke on the situation, but he was very, very vague. And you really didn't get anything out of the video. You know, he spoke on it. And basically, Lil Boosie's brother was saying, we all come from poor environments. We don't come from money. So technically, you know, we all did some things that weren't right. You know, the contracts weren't right. You know, certain things, the lingo, certain things, you know, in the contracts, we all guilty of. But he never really, you know what I mean, said, I don't owe Boosie this money. I do owe him this money. He just danced around the subject. But Lil Blue went on to make a statement, and he was just like, Boosie, you know, I've been trying to be quiet, and I'm paraphrasing. I've been trying to be quiet about this matter. You know what I mean? But you just keep running to the internet. So since you want to keep running to the internet, we here. Let's let's go to it. All your artists around you are starving. You don't want to put no money into them. I'm sending your artists money. I'm looking out for them because you won't give them a dime. Now you saying that I owe you this, but you're not telling the people that I gave you this. You know what I'm saying? In the, in the contract, I gave you a hundred bands. I gave you. So basically, he's just saying. Boosie, I, I, I've paid you. How can you say that we owe you $10 million when we gave you this already? And you making up stuff saying that we forged your signature? Come on, Boosie. Tell the people how you are, how you treat people around you. That's why you're seemingly saying that's why your world is kind of falling apart because everybody, you got yes people around you. So everything that you do, like, and, and if you watch a little Boosie, if you really watch him, like I was watching a video earlier, and I'm not on here to bash Lil Boosie, but I was watching a video earlier, and Lil Boosie was like, uh, you know, he was getting ready for a concert. I think he was he was in Texas somewhere. And uh, you know, he was putting on his shirt and his jewelry. And then he he wasn't like, hey bro, will you hand me that jewelry over? Hand me my jewelry. So you see how you see how Lil Boosie talks to people and how he treats people. So if I had to guess, I would tend to believe, I would tend to believe Young Blue. Just based on the things that he was saying and how I see Boosie treat everybody around him. He talks dog crazy to people. You know what I mean? Ain't no please, ain't no none of that. I don't know where the situation is going. I hate the fact that, you know, him and his brother 
same mother, same father, supposedly. And I only say that because I, I don't know them guys. So, you know, from I've heard them both say that. So I guess it's true. But nevertheless, it's just a sad situation, man. They're not coming up off no 10 million unless they just absolutely have to. And that's going to be drug out in court for years. So now there's a whole lot of internet back and forth. And Boosie can't really afford to be going through that right now. You got bigger problems. Now, don't get me wrong. If they owe you $10 million, you know, problems don't get too much, you know, larger than that. So I, I definitely understand that. But Young Blue was just saying like, you know, Boosie, you only telling your side of the story. You're not telling the whole. You're not telling the whole, you know what I mean? We did this. We took care of that before I before I left or whatever. You know, Rock Nation said that I shouldn't have gave you nothing. We could have just walked away from the deal. Been on some honry, you know, some some honoriness. But yet now, I ain't want to do you like that, Boosie. So I made sure you had something and then we dip. But, you know, we never really know. We never really know the story. But I just thought that it was interesting you know, to post a million dollars, you know, cash. And I don't think that he's necessarily was taking a shot at Lil Boosie. I just think he was saying, man, I'm out here on the road, man, getting money, man. You know, y'all on the internet. I'm out here getting money, man. So that's, that's really what I thought of it. You know, Lil Boosie, he took the high road for once. They asked him about it. And I guess uh, Young Blue and his wife are going through some things or whatever. And Boosie said, hey, listen, my problem is with him. It's not with his wife, so I'm not going to bring her into it. I'm not going to say anything about his wife because it's going to go for me saying that. Then he says this. Then we talking about the kids. Then next thing you know. So Boosie took the high road. You know what I mean? And I thought that was very, very uh, mature of him. But, um, you know, it's just a sad situation. And, you know, I guess we can just stay tuned and see what happens. You know what I mean? Real Kids TV. Hopefully you like the video. Feel free to comment, subscribe, share, uh, uh, post notification. You know what I mean? So anytime I bring you this heat, this action, you're amongst the first to receive it.